Not to be weird. Some people have never had cool teachers and it shows. I personally believe that building authentic relationships with students is paramount in being an effective teacher. I make sure my students know and can feel that I care about them beyond the schoolwork and all the stuff that I have to make them do. I take the time to get to know my students outside of academics because caring for the whole child is what's important. Number two, this was at the end of class. This week we were doing STEM fair presentations. Since it was Friday and all of my students did an excellent job on their STEM fair projects and presentations, I told them if we get one solid presentation in this class, I'll end class a little early and they can have fun and play basketball, darts, or be on their phones or whatever. And during that time, my team would help me take my hair out. A couple of these were students from my class, but others were students from other classes. I wrote all of them a pass at the beginning of the class period, requesting their assistance 10 minutes before dismissal. I told the teachers only send them if all of their work was completed and they had good behavior. They all met the criteria, so 10 minutes before dismissal, they showed up for the job. My next point I'd like to make is, if I was a female teacher, those people wouldn't be in the comments saying, oh, this is weird, this is inappropriate. Because me personally, I don't think there's anything weird about this. People are saying, oh, that's too intimate. To me, it's literally just hair. It doesn't. Let's go ahead and stir the pot a little, shall we? Last Friday, 10 minutes before dismissal time, I decided to live stream my students helping me take my hair out. There was quite the discourse in the chat, which had people saying this was inappropriate and other people saying this was completely fine. There was nothing wrong with what I was doing and people were just making it weird. So of course I had to bring this issue to the big stage. I would like to represent myself in this case, Your Honor, if I may. Number one, for a little context, I had a hair appointment immediately after school and I needed my hair taken out beforehand. I would have taken it out the night before, but that Friday we had a camera crew coming in to shoot a promotional video and I was one of the ones being interviewed, so I had to look presentable so I didn't take my hair out. I didn't have the time to do it all myself because it would have taken me forever, so naturally I asked about four or five of my over a hundred best friends to assist me in taking my hair out and they all agreed. So I know y'all seen the clip, man, we watched it together, right? My whole thought on this whole situation where they're talking about terminating the guy and all of that, you know what I'm saying? I think it's ridiculous, man. Seriously ridiculous, man. You know what I mean? As long as it ain't no foul play or no teacher messages, students, or trying to get people to come to their house and all that type of stuff, I don't see nothing wrong with what they're doing. When I went to middle school, we had uh, kids that had a lot of talents and skills. We had guys that knew how to cut hair. We had women... Uh, girls you know, young girls and i do nails and hair and stuff like that showcasing their talents and maybe their career path after school and things of that nature you know what i'm saying we had kids that did that it edged up we had like a when i was at rough in the middle school we had a thing where they, they they everybody come in and get your line up and stuff you might have uh, a dude that was in like sixth or seventh grade that know how to edge up and stuff like that and you just check them out and, and so i ain't seen nothing wrong with it man i feel like people just be going too crazy over sexual like making stuff sexual that's not sexual you know what i mean i just i just think people gotta calm down sometimes terminate somebody for some foolishness man i never forget man i was like what high school or something like that and my i think my little cousin was like she was like oh i, I do hell this and that you know what i mean i'm like what <laughs> oh laughing like no nah, no sir but she knew how to do hair i had two cousins like that you know what I mean? That I was like, nah, I ain't believe them. And then they, they know how to do hair, they, they know how to do designs, all type of stuff, man. You know what I mean? This showcase and talent, man. I, I stop making stuff sexual all the time, man. You know what I mean? I always say there's a difference between a male teacher and a female teacher. A female teacher, they want it with a cane like this. When there's a male teacher, especially of our, our culture, they're going to try to make it all sexual and, and, and make it dirty when it really ain't. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like they're being extra with that. You know what I'm saying? That's been my feeling, bro. They being super extra with that. I seen that post out like, this is ridiculous, man. Seriously ridiculous. Why? You know what I mean? We got to stop the, the foolishness, man. I'm out, though, man. Give me y'all thoughts and y'all opinions. Don't forget to follow me on TikTok. Follow me on Instagram. And if you're on the YouTube page, make sure you subscribe to the channel. One love, G.